What is going on, ladies and gentle fish of the courtroom? This is the croc, and guess what it's time for? It's time for another tutorial video. What are we going to be covering today? Today, what we're going to cover is customization in Pokemon Online and Pokemon Showdown. Now, let me show you what I mean as far as Pokemon Online. Uh, let me let me first go to my channel here and go to my recent video that I did here uh, with Chastity. Uh, I did a red, blue, yellow plus Wi-Fi battle. Now I want to get skip the intro. The intro is not important. Uh, let's get into this battle right here. Okay, I want you to notice a couple of things. Um, everything's animated that I post for the most part, but it does have different spriting. Now, as far as showdown, I haven't really decided how I'm going to do my battles. Let's face it, Showdown is so much easier to get, and if it just had a little customization, it would look as good as Wi-Fi, if not better. So today, I'm going to be showing you exactly how I did this right here, and now, recently, how I now know how to edit Showdown battles a lot more than I ever thought possible. So, let's get into it. First off, let's do Pokemon Online. Let me, let me introduce you first off to my Pokemon Online, which I did customize myself, so... If it looks a little outrageously different, I apologize in advance. Whenever it wants to load, that would be awesome. Would you like to load now? No? There it goes. Okay, as you can see, mine is Ace Attorney, and my background's Ace Attorney. Uh, this right here, this banner, uh, this particular part right here was made by my darling. Um, okay. But that's not the important point. We don't even need to go into that right now. I just kind of wanted to show that off. Blaze, I'm recording. Go away. Okay. Uh, okay. When you install Pokemon Online, it is best to install it in your user folder. What I mean by the user folder is if you were to go into your user and go to Pokemon Online here, this is where it would be. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Now. It depends on what you're editing, okay? If you are editing solely the new battle window, every piece of your editing will take part in the QML, and mainly the images. As you can see, I've already changed a few of them, but these are the images that you use. This right here, Pokeball icon, is your default icon in the new battle window. Say that again. This is your default icon in the new battle window. <clears throat> whatever that you put in this will be in the new battle window and I believe the old battle window follows the same suit here for this particular rule now I have my background listed as grass because it's defaulted in the programming language so anything that you put as grass I recommend that you put it about the same size unless you have uh, I have a couple really good friends that made everything possible that I do uh, they helped me with it. Uh, Zabuza of the Water is definitely... I will leave all the links in the description to people that have either helped uh, contribute to this that it is now, and what have you. Now, you'll notice <clears throat> on this Wi-Fi battle background, I do apologize, my throat does not want to uh, work with me today. On this Wi-Fi battle background here, you will notice, number one, it's from Pokestar Studios. Number two, it is a whole lot bigger uh, than the actual size of, say, grass or default, but... It's a perfect size. It works really, really well. So uh, you can import your backgrounds. I personally import my Ace Attorney backgrounds, um, but you can also import your Pokestar backgrounds. Uh, the best way to do this, uh, Zabaza taught me this, if you are going to, um, those of you that use you know, Desmume to record your battles, you're going to want to take a screenshot. You're going to want to have a battle which your opponent sends out first. It'll give you a couple seconds to screenshot a blank shot. And that is where that comes from. The smaller you make the file, uh, the less detailed the background is going to be. So that's an important thing to note. So yeah, all that is is the Pokeball icon and change over. Right now I have it defaulted at red, blue, and yellow because of the recent red, blue, and yellow plus video that I did. Notice uh, those two there. So that's pretty much all there is to that. Uh, as far as how I coded my particular Pokemon online... Uh, if you go into the Team Builder, mine is all written in Ace Attorney. The only thing I did is I changed to Dark Classic, but all of my coding is actually in the uh, default uh, CSS style sheet inside of Themes, which you'll go into here, you'll go to Classic, 
And notice main chat is just a window. You just change, you just make it the same size and put it there. Uh, my trainer sprite is also changed. Uh, again, it's the same size as all the other trainer sprites, replaced with number 10, the vector with the Pokeball. Um, and yeah, pretty much what I have uh, in my images somewhere here, I have every Pokeball um, ever made. I have the status for red, blue, and yellow, and the regular one. Notice in the old games, there weren't as many deviations, uh, particularly. Uh, can also go and uh, I'm actually going to go a step further in on my next showdown battle. I uh, probably will use my Mega Man X team and put the Mega Man X bosses in there. I'm thinking about doing that. Um, haven't used that Mega Man X team in a while. But uh, also, the biggest thing too is your statuses, which are also again in that same folder, not in the computer folder, Travis. They are in here. They are in Pokemon Online and they are da -da 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 somewhere. I think they're in themes. I think the statuses are stored in themes. Yes, under here. Now, this is also very important because this is the default for the old battle window. Okay. Uh, if you want one status, like in red, blue, and yellow, remember there were only three Pokeballs. The light, or, or let me rephrase that. In Pokemon Yellow, there was the lit up Pokeball, the Pokeball with the X through it for a knockout, and the dark Pokeball to show a status. So what you would do here. Uh, dead, obviously, status 31 would be the X out Pokeball. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 would all be the blackened Pokeball for the status. Um, let's see. Also, uh, if you want to change your logo, all you have to do is you need to go into whatever thing you're going to change the logo for. In this case, it's Dark Classic. And notice here, my logo is indeed the Dark Classic logo. So that's, that's about it for Pokemon Online. Um, the only other thing is, like I said, if you want to go through and actually change... I'm trying to recall uh, which of these... Let me hit the Find button and look for my extended font. Okay, I have it under Dark Classic. Okay. Uh, I have it under the default, and if you go to Find and type in PW Extended, which is my font for um, Ace Attorney... I, I am so sorry, guys. My throat will just absolutely not cooperate today. It's driving me absolutely bananas. Oh, there it is. Team Builder. Font. That's all that is. I just changed the font, uh, changed some coding. And yeah, that's Pokemon Online. Now let's move into Showdown, which apparently Showdown is a thing. Okay. First off, first and foremost before you even get started, you're going to need, there's several tutorials online. You're going to want to install this style. Uh, it's called Stylish. I will put the link in the description. And I personally prefer the Showdown Dark Black 2 White 2 Pokemon Showdown Wi-Fi style. Now, originally when people were editing Showdown battles, let's just say you have a battle and you got a replay. Oh, let's go into a replay. It doesn't even matter. Uh, we're just going to pick this guy. Originally, what you would do is inspect the element and go into inner battle and edit some stuff and no. Uh, you don't have to do that anymore. No longer do you have to do that if you use the skins. I recommend you use the skins for two reasons. Number one, uh, the skins give you the black, white, two HP bars. Uh, number two, uh, they just look a lot better. Uh, and makes it look more like Wi-Fi, which is, again, kind of really... I think Pokemon Online and Pokemon Showdown both have the same aim to go towards Pokemon uh, Wi-Fi battles. For people that just don't have the technology or flat out like the matches better... Um, because, I mean, you don't have to record every match, but you do have to record live for this, I do believe, because, uh, or you can do instant replay, you can do instant replay. But I'll show you what you can't do. Okay, now, we are going to go into this. I'm also going to leave the link of the person in the description, the Canadian Wi-Fi who started all this. If I found anyone else that did it, I will gladly leave your name in the description, but he's the main person. Uh, I'm not as concerned. I will put his pace bins in the description as well, and I will make sure he is credited for those. But this right here is coding you have to add to change stuff. You're going to go down to line 438-ish, something in there. Uh, it's going to be between your backdrops. There'll be a backdrop, a backdrop before, and a backdrop after. This coding probably will not appear. Okay? All you're going to want to do is, you know, uh, take it off the pace bin, Copy it, come in here, 
uh, put it right in here in between these braces. These braces are part of the coating, so it's very important it goes between both of these braces. You'll notice the braces are in between each line of code. You got brace, this, brace. Okay? And then that brace is going to hold this next thing. All you have to change on this is the background URL. This push, and I'll go ahead and open it for you so you can see kind of what it's going to look like. So when I open this battle, y'all aren't like crazy on me. When you open this push, okay, it's water. Awesome. Now, what you cannot do as far as your recording. You also, when you when you go back through this and you do change your background and stuff, you need to click save. Uh, if you have any other questions on what stuff changes, the second paste bin in the description actually goes through. I have not checked it yet, but I'm assuming it shows all the changes that Canadian Wi-Fi are made to his showdown. You can change these bars. You can change all kind of stuff. Really, really awesome stuff. Um, right, we're just going to do it under a random battle. Notice I have this awesome water background. I have the black two HP bars, and I have this nice little team preview on top. Um, you can record this whole window should you so choose. I probably would recommend you do so. Um, but let's just say we have the battle, blah, 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 blah. Um, and we'll just speed to the battle, whatever. Uh, and you click instant replay. You cannot share the replay and reopen it under this. Reason being, stylish that is coded with the showdown skins are coded to work on certain websites, and it's coded to work in the battle website. So that means if you do an instant replay, you cannot, under any circumstance, uh, get those backgrounds. Yeah, you can edit everything from the HP bars to the to the. You could edit the HP bars. You could edit the backgrounds. You could edit the sprites. Uh, if you had like a red, blue, and yellow game or whatnot, I know this guy's gonna get so mad at me. Doing a tutorial on the showdown background and customization apologies so yeah that is pretty much the gist of it uh, make a movie see if it lets me talk yeah so yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. I hope you guys have enjoyed tutorial number four or five, whatever tutorial that we're on here. Uh, I, I do hope to battle all of you on Showdown or Pokemon Online. Um, please check out my new Red, Blue, Yellow Plus battle. Uh, that metagame is so fun and so diverse. Uh, I'm looking for more players. I need to leave a link in the description on how to do all of it. Uh, when I post my battle on uh, the Poke Union, I think it goes up in five days. My Red, Blue, Yellow Plus, I need to go through, and I will go through a description link of how to get the mod and how to get started and everything. So thank you guys for all of your support and continued support. We are almost to 200 subscribers, myself and Lex. Unfortunately, she's at work right now. Otherwise, she would be with me on this. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys check out all of our videos. Rate, comment, subscribe, peace out, objection, and find the computer room.